What's up guys? Today we're going to be creating a guitar in Rhino. First step, run your background bitmap command. Once you've selected your image, you're just going to want to place it into Rhino here. And you're going to want to draw an outline around the edge of your guitar with the control point curves. Once you've done that, we'll then go over here to where your outline is and run the rebuild command. You want to set it pretty high to around 150 points. I have mine at 155. This just creates a nice even amount of control point curves around your entire guitar. Makes it look a little bit more clean when you're done. Next, we're going to want to run our extrude curve command. The average height for a guitar is 1.75 inches. You're going to want to make sure your guitar is scaled correctly before you start using these numbers that I'm about to tell you. After it's extruded, run the cap command. Now we have a solid guitar, but we're not done yet. This isn't exactly functional and it's not going to be comfortable to play. So. We want to start making some profile curves for cutouts along the front and back of this guitar. To start out, grab your control point curves and make three points along your guitar where you want this cutout to be. Once you've drawn your curve, bring it up 1.75 inches. Once you have that curve there, you're going to want to copy and paste it and bring it down five and to the left five. I'm going to adjust my curves where I want them to make sure the profile is comfortable for my arm when I'm playing. Next, grab the curve that is outside of your guitar body and drop it down one inch. Now, take these two curves, select both of them, and run the loft command. Now that we have our lofted surface, we're going to start trimming. So grab your trim command and make the cutting object your lofted surface and trim away the outside of the guitar. Then do the same thing but the inverse. Now you can delete these profile curves, we won't be needing them anymore. While we're here, we're going to make this curve right here seamless, so there's not just this drop off right here. So to do that, we're going to go to Fillet Edge. You can experiment with a different radius on this. For me, I'm going to try 10. First, we have to join these two together. Ten seems to work out, and as you can see now, we have a nice smooth curve right here instead of a jagged edge. So that's the front of your guitar. To do the back is a little bit more complicated, but not that bad. We're going to start out by drawing a circle. You're going to then drag that circle into the guitar until you get a nice area where you think it'll be comfortable for you. This should be fine. Next, you're going to want to grab your control point curve, go to the intersection here where your circle meets the guitar body. You're going to hold your shift key down and then go to your origin point. And then go to the next intersection where the circle meets the body of the guitar. After you've done that, Find the middle control point of your curve there and bring that up two inches. After you've done that, 
we're going to want to run the project command. Make sure you're in the right viewport when you do this. So select the curve there and project it onto the body of your car. Now you can delete this. We won't need it anymore. Select this curve here, explode it, and then hold down your control key and click that curve to deselect it and delete the rest of the curve. Next, do your split command. We're going to want to split our circle with the body curve and then delete the excess of the circle. Okay, so once the excess of your circle is trimmed away, we're going to select both of those curves and we are going to want to loft them. Once that is lofted, we are going to trim away the excess of this guitar. So select your lofted surface, like the cutting object, and trim away the portion of the guitar that we don't want anymore. Now you can see we have a nice cut on the back of our guitar. However, you can see this doesn't transition very well at the moment. This can be a little tricky, but we can easily fix it. Sadly, fillet edge will not work here, so we're going to try a different method. Go to your circle command and draw a circle one inch bigger than your previous circle. So as you can see, the circle is consistently an inch bigger than the one we had previously. And then in your right viewport, we're going to want to go up a quarter of an inch. And then from the end point of that quarter of an inch, you're going to want to hold your shift key and drag all the way across the guitar. Once you've done that, go to your split command, select the lofted surface as the surface that you want to split, and use that quarter of an inch tall line that we just created to split it. Now you can see we have a bottom portion and a top portion of our lofted surface. Next, you're going to want to create a control point curve. From the end of our new circle to the end of our lofted surface, and then connect that to where we split our lofted surface. Do that on both sides. Okay, so once you have those curves created that looks like they've disappeared, but they're actually just hiding behind the guitar body here. So the next step here is to go into your right viewport in the bottom right and find those curves. We're going to want to project those onto the guitar body. So run your project command and select both of those curves. and then select the guitar body as the surface we're projecting onto. Now we have a curve that's going to smoothly transition up to that. Now that we have those curves projected, we're going to run our split command. We're going to want to split this curve that we just projected with our circle. You can just delete the rest of that curve. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. So now we're going to, on the duplicate edge command, and go to the end of the lofted surface that we split. 
once you have both of those selected, press enter and join them. Next, go to split. We're going to want to split the bigger circle that we created with our two projector curves on either side of the guitar. You can delete the excess of this. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start grabbing all of our curves here. And we're going to join those together. It should join into one closed curve. So now start selecting all of your surfaces and we're going to join those into one closed poly surface. If it doesn't say this, go back into the tutorial and make sure you've done everything correctly. So next, we are going to grab our split command. We are going to split our body by our curves. Then we can take this poly surface here and delete it. So now that we've split this section of the body away, we're going to run a sweep to command, but first we're going to start duplicating some edges here. Just select, firstly, these two edges here and join them. Run the duplicate edge again. those and join them. Same thing with the other side. Join. And then lastly the back. Okay, we're looking good. Uh, we can delete all these extra curves here because we don't need these anymore. It's kind of being confusing at this point. So now with all those excess lines out of the way, we're going to start running our sweep to command. Select this chain edges. Select your back curve. Press enter. Select these two front curves. Press enter, and for our cross section curves, we're going to be doing these curves on the end. Okay, this should give us a nice surface here. So as you can see, that matches up. So, moment of truth, we're going to select both of those surfaces there and join it. And it should say one closed poly surface. So now we're going to start finishing out the body shape here. This is luckily the easiest part. We're going to run our fillet edge command again. Your style may differ from mine, but I'm going to go with a 1 16th edge along the body. As you can see, we have a nice curve along the body here, so it is no longer as sharp. Next, we're going to do the exact same thing along the bottom. So there you have it. That is a finished guitar shape. Um, the rest will be different from everybody. That's a couple Boolean commands. Uh, if you guys want me to go over that in a future video, I will. But it's honestly pretty simple. You just draw out your shapes and Boolean differs it from the rest. I'm just not going over it in this video because it will be different for everybody depending on what hardware you're using. But overall, you can use these techniques here for any guitar shape and it should work fine. So I hope this helped. If you guys want me to cover anything else in the future, let me know.